Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are the differences between the House of Representatives and the Senate? Representation and Population The House of Representatives and the Senate differ significantly in how they represent the population. The House has 435 members, with each state's number of representatives determined by its population. In contrast, the Senate has 100 members, with each state having two senators regardless of its population. Term lengths. Members of the House of Representatives serve two-year terms and are up for re-election every even year. Senators, on the other hand, serve six-year terms, with one-third of the Senate up for re-election every two years. Qualifications for office. To be eligible for the House of Representatives, one must be at least 25 years old, a U.S. citizen for at least seven years, and a resident of the state they represent. For the Senate, the requirements are 30 years of age, a U.S. citizen for at least nine years, and a resident of the state they represent. Powers and responsibilities. The House has the exclusive power to initiate revenue bills and to impeach federal officials. It also has the power to elect the president in the case of an electoral college tie. The Senate, however, has the sole power to confirm presidential appointments, provide advice and consent on treaties, and try impeachment cases referred by the House. Legislative process bills intended to raise revenue must originate in the House, although the Senate can propose amendments to such bills. In the House, debate procedures are more formal and structured, while in the Senate, debate is generally less formal and can be unlimited, allowing for filibusters. Rules and procedures. The House has more formal rules and a structured debate process, limiting the time members can speak and the number of amendments that can be introduced. In the Senate, any amendment can be introduced and senators can use filibusters to delay votes. A supermajority of 60 senators is required to break a filibuster. Committee system. Both chambers use a committee system to review and develop legislation. However, the House has 23 committees with 104 subcommittees, while the Senate has 17 committees with 70 subcommittees. These committees allow members to gain expertise in specific policy areas. Checks and balances. The Senate acts as a check on the House and the executive branch with the power to advise and consent on presidential appointments and treaties. This role is designed to prevent any single branch from abusing its power. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.